Hey, what's up you guys? It's Ruben from UIUX Creative. In today's video, we're gonna be doing a pretty cool and sick uh, Adobe Photoshop tutorial. As you can see here, uh, this is pretty dope. I think it's, it's pretty cool and slick. So this, this fact is called kind of like a slice floating head manipulation. Um, so if you're ready to jump in and create this with your head or your friends or your cousins, let's do it. So the first thing that you need to do is to cut out your head. Uh, use whatever tools that you want to cut out your head and then have it positioned in the center. Okay, so now you need to bring up your rules by clicking Command R or Control R on a PC. Um, all right, once you have that, just pull down some of the uh, guidelines so we can make sections in your head. All right, that's the second one. Uh, that's the third one about there. So that way we can make four sections. Pick your marquee tool and then just create a rectangle. Select your head and then Command or Control J to duplicate that section. Then go to the next section and do the same thing. Make sure you, you click on the head, which is the original layer. Uh, go to the third one, do the same thing. Make sure you are on the head layer. Command J again to just duplicate that section. And then the last one is the fourth one. The head layer and then duplicate that. You can turn that off. And then uh, you can hide your guides. Perfect. By clicking Command uh, column. And then just start like tilting your sections by Control T, uh, Command T, and then make sure you align the pieces of your head. Um, there's a little gap there, so I fix that. Uh, there are sections, you can name your layers too. Now I like to name layers, but I'm gonna do it pretty quick, so there's a big gap there, like a little gap, so you can move it around with your arrows. And then the last one, um, like about there, let's see. Okay, so I'm gonna move it to the right. Just a tiny little bit. And to the top, there you go, I like it. So here it is. So now we need to uh, now add the, uh, the color sections. So I use my ellipse tool, pick a color, a random color, and then I'm gonna change it probably later. Um, there you go, like about there, make sure like it's under all, all your sections and then you just like transform control control t and then you press and hold down command or control just to kind of like line lined up your head sections with your shapes we're gonna add some shadows and stuff like that later on all right so don't show yes uh, do the next one and then pick a different color. Um, just double click on the shape and just pick a color. Um, I'm gonna go like an orange or something like that. That's good. Let me just like group this too and, and just name this colors so that way I know um, my sections and a little bit more organized. Great, zoom in and then you know hold down command or control in your PC and just like pull uh, one of those. Uh, yeah, there you go. Like about there. I'm drinking coffee by the way. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, that looks good. Let me just a tiny bit. Move it to the corner there. Um, zoom out. Mm, that's looking good. Let's go to the, uh, the last one. Yes, that's about right. And then, okay, let's pick a, a green color. Um, yeah, that's, that's good. All right, 
right, so let me just change this color to probably like a purple maybe. Because I don't like this red because of the, the S has a red. I just pick it, you know, because I needed to pick a color right away. But there you go. I like that. What do you think, guys? This is pretty cool. Um, all right. Okay, so now we need to add in uh, some shadows. All right, so go into your first shape layer, which is at the bottom one, or the top one, it doesn't matter, and just command click, and you're gonna see uh, your selection, and then pick a brush, pick a dark color, of course, and create a new layer and call it shadow. We're gonna add some shadows in here. There's so many ways you can do this. Um, increasing my brush, uh, size and then just like paint a little bit lower the opacity a little bit so you don't want that to be super harsh but don't worry later on we're gonna play with the opacity and stuff and just paint over um, do the same thing with the second one and the third one so you're gonna you're gonna just uh, hold on command or control and click create a new layer and then start painting uh, with the brush tool in black so you can add a little bit of uh, a little bit of drop shadow in there. So we create a little bit of depth. And then the last one, do the same same thing again. Uh, create a new layer, do your selection, pin it in black, and then um, select all of them and then lower the opacity. Yeah, that looks good. Now I wanna change, um, I wanna change the background color. So I'm gonna select the rectangle tool and just Pick a color, like a, like a darker shade or gray or something. Yeah, I like that. Mm, okay. Yeah, you can pick whatever color you want. Um, in this case, I'm gonna pick this dark gray. Um, I'm gonna move the whole thing. Just make sure you select the select all the layers that need to be moved. Um, I'm creating like a little shadow for the head. Um, Head shadow. I'm gonna call this. I'm gonna put it down there, and I'm gonna change the color to black. I'm gonna add a Gaussian blur. Center this first, and I'm gonna add a Gaussian blur. Probably, yeah. You can rasterize it or convert it um, into smart object. It's up to you. Uh, gonna do this for now, just to see how how it looks. Um, that's good. Um, uh, Okay, I'm gonna make it flat a little bit and a little bit smaller. There you go, like about there. Yeah, okay. Okay, um, seeing some circles and stuff in there, so I'm gonna right click and rasterize this layer. There you go. So I'm gonna, then I'm gonna command T, transform and then hold down shift just to make this. Yeah, zoom out. Oh, look at that, that looks cool. That is a really cool uh, floating head. You can make pretty easy in Adobe Photoshop. Okay, this is great guys. I hope you enjoyed this uh, fun tutorial. Um, make sure you like, subscribe, so I can create more of these tutorials in the future. Thanks so much. This is Ruben from UI UX Creative. Peace.